My deliverer from angry nations, you set me above my assailants. You save me from the violent man, O Lord. My deliverer from angry nations, you set me above my assailants. You save me from the violent man, O Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. said, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abnego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I made. Whenever you hear the sound of a trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments. Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the white hot furnace. And who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abnego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, there is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this manner. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white hot furnace and from your hands, O King, may he save us. But even if he will not, know, O King, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, 
and Abnego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abnego and cast them into the white hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, Did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered. But, he replied, I see four men, unfettered and unhurt, walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like a son of God. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abnego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory, Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin 
is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence, then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one Father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your Father, you would love me, for I came from God and am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He tells us that he is truth. We live in a world right now that does not believe that there is objective truth. Whatever you think is true, good for you. Or whatever you think is true, good for you. But no truth is valid for every person in every age. That's the thinking of the culture. Jesus Christ is the truth, and he says the truth will set you free. He is freeing us. He has come to free us from our sins. Right now, our culture largely is enslaved in sin. We all are in some ways controlled by sin. But if we put our faith in Jesus Christ and trust in him, he will free us from our sin. He will help us to know true freedom and peace by following him, by putting our faith in him, by trusting in him. Yes, right now there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of anxiety in the world. We're being invited to put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ, the one who is the truth. He wants to set you and me free free from sin. Acknowledge your sin. Put your faith in him and you will be free. Let us turn to the Lord. Upheld by the courage of God's faithful ones, we bring all our needs and petitions before our loving Father that the church may embrace the cost of discipleship before the powers of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That those who suffer injustice may be purified in faith and made strong in righteousness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the suffering of the sick may be eased by the divine presence. And we especially remember those suffering from the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For much needed rain in our area, for our ranchers and farmers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For a speedy end of the coronavirus pandemic, 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That all our families and friends may be kept safe in this time of danger, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the dead may be gathered among the righteous of every age, especially today we remember Ruben Luna and Deacon Silvestre Garcia. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Seat of mercy, we are distorted by the sins that bind us. Cool the fires of rage that turn us against each other. May this holy season be for us a time of transformation and healing through our Savior Jesus Christ, who has reconciled the world to you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive back, O Lord, these sacrificial offerings which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name and grant that they may become remedies for our healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now renewed, and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis uceri et terra, gloria tua, o 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, Mario, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. Savior's commandment formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. Attend, Almighty God, to the prayers of your people, and as you endow them with confident hope in your compassion, let them feel as ever the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy 